Welcome back. We're on episode two of CMake. If you haven't watched the first one, I would highly recommend watching the first one before watching this. Otherwise, you're going to be a little bit confused unless you're already really good with CMake. So we're going to pick up from right where we left off, basically. This time, I'm going to talk about levels, libraries, and I'm really going to be mainly talking about static libraries here. So we're going to go ahead and open up Visual Studio Code. And I'm going to go to File, Open Folder, and we're going to look for the project we started last time, Our Lord and Savior. Click OK. There we go. So all we have since last time is a minimum required version on our CMake, a project, and an executable. So what if we want to do more with this executable? We've just got this little main. It doesn't do a whole lot other than spit out, hey Zeus, how you doing Zeus? Nice to, nice to talk to you, whatever, you know. So you can add more files to this. You say you want more files in your project. So what you can do is just hit, of course, new file, make a new file however you want. So I'm just going to make another file called uh, Cisco with like an adder.cpp. All right. So we get an adder.cpp. All we got to do is just add it to this list right here. I want this to just be like, I don't know, just have a function or a class or, or something like that. Or we just have a void uh, add. Or we could get fancy and overload this and stuff, but I'm not. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use floats. So of course, we got to return a float, and we're basically just gonna return a plus b. Completely useless function, really, because it just does something so simple that you won't need a function for it. But I'm just using it to get a point across. All right. So then, if we go and we'll test out our adder, we'll say add 72.1 plus 73 point something and then we'll put a new line here well, we'll do it like this so we don't flush and now it doesn't see this ad of course because we'll need to include it well we need a header for it basically it needs to know about the function so if we do an include of adder.cpp it'll bring this code over into this file which isn't what we want here really we want a proper header of it so it would be like float add and there we go and the definitions somewhere else so we're fine and of course these should have a little F on them otherwise it might be a little confused um, and of course I don't need a plus here I need a comma all right and that should add them together so if we go back to our CMake we've already got the adder in there and now we can just compile so I'll open up my terminal and we'll just uh, We'll rerun the CMake thing. We'll go CMake sources here, build into out slash build. There we go. And then we'll run make and dash C to go down into the directory with make. That's just a make thing. Build. There we go. So it built the target, didn't have any errors. And now we should be able to run it. So we'll just go to where it is. And there we go, we got our result. So there we had it in there. Now usually you'll have classes and usually you'll just include the header. So this is just kind of a very simple example of just adding the function, adding a different file, and how you can have as many as you want on this list to compile into your main object there. All right, so now we're going to talk about adding libraries. Let's say we want to add a library for this adder thing instead of just compile it into our object. It'll essentially do the same thing, but rather than uh, building in with the object, it'll build it separately and then link it at the end using the linker, the whole C++ thing. So that might be confusing to you if you're not super familiar with C++, but uh, if you are, it's going to be like, yeah, 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 I know. So we're just going to do that. We're going to build this adder as a library. So to do that, we are going to need a header, and we're actually going to put this in its own little folder. So let's create a new folder, and we'll name this folder um, adder. We'll use the capital A. We'll put the CPP in there, confirm, 
go over here and just add another new file, adder.h. Uh, we're going to go ahead and I think turn this into a class, because why not? We don't have to. Um, nah, let's not. So we'll just put the header here, float adder, float a, float b. And of course, you can make whatever function you want, just you know, adder simple. All right. And then we define it here. Of course, this needs to know about the header part. So there we go. And now we want to build this separately and then link it to our main. So what we're going to do here is just add another cmakeList.txt in this one. cmakeList.txt. List There's actually multiple ways of doing this. I'm just showing you the way of doing it when it's in a new directory. Because see, so you have a sublevel cmakeList.txt, and that's kind of what I'm talking about with levels. We're going to do add uh, subdirectory, and the subdirectory is adder. So basically, we reference. Let me just like open this open containing folder. It might be easier to explain this way. All right, so we have our top level cmakeList.txt. And then the subdirectory adder will just go in here and look for cmakeList.txt. So this isn't the root header one. So it doesn't have to have all the same thing. You don't need a project. Really, all you need is just like something like this. Add library. And then you give the library a name. We'll give it the name adder. And we'll say it needs to compile with adder.cpp. And that's basically it. That'll build it as a library in the most simplistic way possible. So now when we go back to here, this right here will build that library. But we do need to link the library to our core project. So we go target link library. And the project, well, it's going to be our project name, Olas. So we'll just use this macro in case we change the name at some point or something like that. And the library is going to be adder, uh, lowercase, lowercase adder. So it does need to match that, otherwise it will never find it. Okay, so from here, it should build our main, it should then build a library, and then before doing its final build, it'll link adder to the executable. So let's just go run CMake now. So we'll go back to our terminal and just rerun our CMake. We're in the, the root directory of our folder, so the, the root one is still the same place, the build is still in the same place, and we got a little error. Command, oh, it's because I'm putting these semicolons on the end, like a derp. Try not to be a derp. That's my job, not your job. All right, so let's go back in here. Let's do it again. And target link library is apparently incorrect. So what is it? Is it target link? libraries it's not library it's libraries so if you have multiple libraries and you want to link them all at once you can start putting more libraries in here you, this is how you link your libraries to your project if you've got them somewhere else being built so that was successful now all we got to do is run our make and then run the program make uh, dash capital C to run it down in the directory and there we go, it looks like it had a problem. Add was not declared in this scope. So another thing you need to do in your main, of course, it doesn't know where this add is just because you linked it. You at least, you just need to have the header. So the header of, is of course the adder, and it is down a directory, adder, adder, dot h. Just gotta go down in that directory into this one, and of course, uh, we're gonna need these quotes. And since we didn't add or remove any files, we don't have to run the CMake thing again. Not necessary. We just need to redo the build, which is this make command. And it looks like it's still a little confused. What did I do wrong? Okay, so we added the library. We added the subdirectory, which should build the library, and then we do this add. Now why is this confused? It says it is undefined. All right, so in here, we want to go target link directories, and the target, of course, is this project name. 
and basically this is going to be that header folder. So that's the directory. So this basically tells it where to find the adder uh, linker library. Since we put it in its own folder, we got to do target link directories and there's a directory for our linkers right there. So if you've got them down in folders, you're going to have to specify where those libraries you need to link are with this on your target. This should now be fine. Let's go ahead and configure again. Target link directories, target link with invalid arguments. Okay, so the invalid argument here is we need to specify whether this is public or private. We're going to just say private, and that just basically means it's not going to add it for anything else beyond it's just this. But basically, we need to give it a visibility level. Private's going to be fine in our case since we're not doing a whole lot else. Let's rerun CMake. It's now happy. Let's now run make. And it's still not happy. Why can't you just be happy? Why? We'll take it a step further. And we'll also put in here include directories, I believe. This just tells it where the includes are. That way we don't have to specify way down. And this should just be adder. Taking it from the root and then just down a folder. So that way we don't have to make this any more specific than just, hey, there's a header. Because now CMake will tell it that directory. All right, let's go ahead and run this again incorrect number of arguments. Alrighty, do we also need to privatize this? We'll, we'll do this as public here. Oh, and this has project's name. It's project, so that's probably the error it was having. And public is, is also not a keyword, so public, let's go with public. So it's actually going to be building down in here. There it is. There is lib adder. You know, I've been messing with this the whole time like it's a CMake problem. Well, I've showed you a ton of things, so that's cool. But the entire problem, and maybe you guys already caught this, is I named the header definition one adder, and I named the actual instantiation of it just add. So, of course, it's not going to work. So that was just me derping a little bit. It had nothing to do with really anything else. But it's kind of, it kind of gave me the chance to show you guys a super example of how to do all this other stuff. Anyway, so now we should work without any issues. Let's go ahead and build that. There we go, build. Now we just want to run it, which it's in our out and it's in our build. Let me just do a ll out build. And you can see it there. It's got the adder folder as well. So let's just, let's just take a gander at this folder real quick before we run it open containing folder. Here it is. There's the, the build. So yeah, we've got the adder library there, ready to be linked. And we've got our make file, of course. Now let's just take a peek at this make file. We'll open it with Featherpad, nice and bright. Sorry about your eyes. All right, default target all. So if you just run plain make, it's gonna build all. So we'll go ahead and look for this all. There should be somewhere in here called all. So this is basically what it's going to run. So CMake check and build. It's going to start doing all this stuff. So this looks a little confusing, and that's fine. You don't really need to understand this all. You basically just need to get your CMake list.txt correct. But make files are what everything turns into, as I talked about last episode. So it is nice to understand those. You just don't ever need to edit this. So basically, you can learn make files or learn make or learn cmake and you might as well learn cmake because it does a lot more than just make files there's make files you just need a broader more dense understanding to get it to work correctly cmake just handles a lot of stuff for you which is nice uh, but it doesn't hurt to have that broad knowledge too so if you want to study make files that's fine and as a quick review here we have gone the extra mile and we've added a subdirectory called adder which just is this folder with another CMake and it all has this add library that builds these into a library 
So you can expand this any way you want. You can build libraries however you want that way. And then we did a target include directories uh, for this folder. That way, when we include, we can just do it this really standard way instead of having to specifically path to the folder like so. And then target link directories is where your libraries are going to be. Now this is pathing from your build folder basically. So it starts from wherever your output is from when you run this here. Now, and of course we have the adder folder so we're going to say it's in there. In target link libraries just links that library to our project and, and that's it. Hopefully this hasn't been too confusing for you guys so far. It's been kind of a lot of information, but this is how you make libraries. So we kind of talked about levels and lives. Now let's talk about submodules. Now this is a Git thing, so it's a little getting a little bit into version control. And it also, so I'll talk a little bit about Git, or you know, I'll just save this for the next episode, episode three, because this one's already getting to be a bit long, but I think I got the point of levels and lives across pretty well. Tune in next episode. I'll release in a couple days of submodules. I was also going to answer questions in this one about the first one, but I didn't get any questions, so I guess it was clear enough. I know I missaid a couple words in episode one, but I guess people got the point. So please let me know if you have any questions, and I'll be sure to answer them in next episode, as long as it's not too late. But uh, as long as the series is going, I will try to answer questions that come up. And uh, yeah, next time we're just going to focus on submodules. It might be a kind of quick one. It's uh, it's really cool. It's basically how to add libraries from GitHub repositories. And it's, it's another thing that really sold me on CMake. So we'll keep going with this. There's going to be a lot of episodes. And this is going to be going on for a while because there's just a lot you can do with CMake. So stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button to uh, be notified when those go live. And... I do a lot of other tutorials also. Don't forget to hit like and help this channel. Over and out. Stay healthy. Peace out.